What is up, guys? Welcome to our week one battle for the GBA Season 9. This week we are taking on MV and his San Diego Chim Chargers, first team that we took on last season as well. Uh, we've got our Ubers draft here. I haven't made my uh, draft review video yet. I didn't have any time whatsoever. I actually had recorded this battle video already uh, with my buddy Colton, but uh, the audio didn't save correctly, so I'm re-recording it now, and I'm sort of rushing to get through it. But uh, let's uh, let's just hop right into it. Let's go over the teams. If you guys want to skip ahead to the battle, uh, then do so by finding the uh, timestamp in the comments below with the, uh, the time of the battle. But uh, Envy has Giratina O, Ho O, Mega Yancey, Muck, uh, Alola, of course, uh, Keldeo, Bronzong, Shaman, Doug Trio, Raikou, Haxorus, and Samiragul, with Keldeo and Haxorus being his Zemons. So, uh, first few things I noticed obviously, his two uh, Ubers are both faster than my Necrozma, uh, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, his Muck uh, is a big, 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 big problem to my Psychics. Uh, namely my Necrozma and my um, my Reuniclus, and it's also a little bit of a problem to my other members as well. Uh, I gotta watch out for those knockoffs and stray uh, drain punches and, and whatnot, not drain punches, but uh, brick breaks and power-up punches. Uh, definitely uh, a very annoying one to deal with. And uh, lastly, Keldeo destroys me. Uh, if you look at my team, Keldeo is a very, very big problem as well. And so is Haxorus, actually. Um, both are uh, do, do a lot of work to me. Uh, Mega Deancey, I'm not too, too worried about. I think I have good enough answers to it. So let's uh, let's check out the team. So the first member on the team is uh, Bat Signal, Necrozma Dawn Wings, Cassid Berry with a uh, with a Rock Polish Swords Dance set, uh, Shadow Claw and Earthquake as my attacking moves, uh, 244 attack, 244 speed as well with a uh, Jolly Nature. This is enough for Scarf to Raikou once I'm at plus two and uh, 29 HP. Cassid Berry is to protect me from Mux Shadow Sneak as well as Giratina's uh, Shadow Ball to be able to live them. Um, I have uh, Light Screen on the team as well, as you'll see in a sec, so uh, that's going to help out a lot against the Giratina specifically. So yeah, that's uh, that's Necrozma. Uh, next up we have uh, Greg, the Rotom Wash, Mygo Berry with Volt Switch, Pain Split, Will-O-Wisp, and Light Screen. Uh, max HP, uh, nearly max defense with a Bold Nature and 52 speed for any creeps. Uh, we have uh, Volt Switch, of course, uh, to be able to gain momentum on MV's team. Uh, then we have uh, Pain Split just to, to be able to, to keep myself alive. Mago Bear is going to help with that as well. Uh, Will-O-Wisp and Light Screen Will-O-Wisp is mainly for the uh, for the muck. Uh, sorry about that if you heard that. That was my alarm going off on my phone because it's still early. Um, Will-O-Wisp is mainly for the muck. Uh, also hits the Haxorus if he's not Lumberry. It's going to help uh, Duck Trio as well. I'm not carrying Water Stab on this because, I'm like I said, I'm not too fearful of Mega Deancey this game. And uh, Light Screen is going to help us sweep uh, with quite a few Mons, so uh, I'm hoping to get that off at some point during the game. Next up, we have Reuniclus, which is uh, Hidden Power Flying, Calm Mind, Acid Armor, and Recover. So this is a very interesting set. Um, I did a lot of mocks, and this set uh, originally had only a Psychic move as its attacking move. Uh, but I figured out that uh, Muck is pretty much going to stay alive the whole game. No matter which mock it was, no matter how many times I tried to get rid of Muck, it just wasn't going away. So I pretty much realized that having uh, only Psychic Stab would not work as, as a sweeping option for me this game. So uh, instead I decided to uh, to run Hidden Power Flying because it hits pretty well across this team. Again, not the Mega Deancey. Uh, but once I'm at plus six, Mega Deancey can't really deal with me. And uh, Acid Armor is there to deal with, obviously, his physical threats like ho and Muck, uh, be able to uh, to stop them in their tracks. I am running a uh, more Spadef set with 88 uh, investment and a Calm Nature into my special defense. Uh, this is mainly to be able to switch into things like Deancey and Keldeo and be able to, uh, to start recovering up and Calm Mining on them. And uh, like Keldeo specifically, that's going to be a very big one. And I feel that I don't need max defense, especially with Acid Armor on the set. Uh, I'll be able to to deal with most of his physical threats. Being that they're only like ho -Oh, Muck, and Haxorus. Like any, everything else it really isn't that strong. So it's only really those three. So uh, I don't feel like I need max defense. Moving on, we have Togevoir, the Mega Mawile, second overall. Uh, we have Play Rough, Rock Slide, Sucker Punch, and Substitute. So this set is really nice at forcing Muck out. Uh, Muck will not want to die because I have two Psychics. So every time I bring in Mawile and Muck is in, uh, that's going to give me pretty much a free sub and I'll get a knockout on the following turn on anything but Bronzong pretty much. Uh, everything else is pretty much going to die. 
uh, Ho Ho dies even if it's Charlie Berry if rocks are up. Um, Mega Diancy dies, Giratina obviously as well, Keldeo. Uh, Shaman comes very close to, to getting O code by Play Rough, unless it's fully Fizz Def. Um, Doug Trio's dead, Raikou's dead, Haxorus is definitely dead, and so is Smeargle obviously. So it's, it's really just Zong because I don't have knockoff, and even if I did, he could be Colber. So uh, I'm going to rely more so on Play Rough damage, uh, as it is a. As usually a three shot on uh bronzong the only thing it can do back to me is earthquake so that's uh that's mega mobile moving on to 49 percent tornado Styrian. Uh, i changed this setup a lot it was originally like an anti smeargle lead set with sub and knock off iron tail um and then it had uh then i had lum at some point with acrobatics uh, but ultimately I decided on an Assault Vest set because I figured that it might be better for Keldeo. Uh, knock off Iron Tail, Hurricane, and U-Turn. The attack investment, the 44 attack, is to make sure to knock out his Deancey with like 12 investment in HP. Um, in its neutral form, uh, in, in regular, like if he doesn't, if he decides not to Mega Evolve, I can still knock it out with, uh, with Iron Tail. Uh, the speed is enough for Raikou, I believe, and what I believe that... Uh, his Doug Trio is also going to creep. Yeah, actually, the, the speed is for uh, his Doug Trio creeping my Scarf T-Tar uh, if I decided to bring that. So that, that's enough for that. Uh, and then um, 196 in HP to be able to take uh, Hydro Pump. Uh, Z Hydro Pump, I believe, after rocks from Keldeo doesn't knock me out most of the time. Uh, especially if, uh, if Sand isn't up, it will not knock me out. Um, I think there, there's like a... a a 6.3% chance, like a 1 roll out of 15 that knocks me out, so that's really good, and then we can Hurricane the Keldeo back, so long as it's not Scarfed, obviously. And if it's Scarfed, it's, it's, it has a lot less damage output, so that's not too bad. So, moving on to the last mon, mon on the team. This mon I heavily debated. Uh, I changed a few times. It was originally Cobalion, uh, but ultimately I decided that T-Tar was necessary. We have Cronovi uh, coming with a Lumberry. We're just max attack adamant with a little bit of speed and um, the rest mostly in HP. Crunch, Pursuit, Stone Edge, uh, just stabs. Pursuit is there for, for Giratina uh, and possibly to get off more damage on, on other m members of his team like ho and whatever if they decide to switch. And... Um, and we have uh, Stealth Rocks, obviously. Rocks are going to be super important, because if I can keep the hole low, uh, there's a few members on my team that can just go in. So, uh, that's pretty much going to be the team. I won't uh, keep you guys waiting any longer to see the actual game, so we're going to bring it up here. Um, you hear the uh, the DS <laughs> uh, going off. Uh, so, let's get into the game. So, here we have it. Uh, Envy decided to bring the Ho-Oh, Bronzong, uh, Alolan Muk, Giratina, Doug Trio, and uh, Keldeo. The only mon I, wasn't sur I was surprised not to see was Haxorus, uh, and I thought it would be in Bronzong's slot. Um, especially when you see, uh, you guys will see that his rocker is Doug Trio. So I was really surprised by this. Uh, I didn't expect the Bronzong to come, uh, and I felt like Haxorus made a lot more sense, but... Anyway, let's hop right into the game. I decided to lead off with my Tornado Therian because I figured that getting a knockoff on something on his team would be very crucial. Iron Tail is going to be useless this game because he didn't bring the Mega Deancey, so I'm down a move slot essentially. But it's not too bad. I have my Assault Vest and whatnot, so I should be able to take any hit relatively well. Uh, so yeah, we're going to lead off with Torn here. He leads off with his Ho. Uh, if it's banded, I want to get rid of its band immediately, so we're going to go for the knockoff. And if he's Scarfed, he doesn't knock me out. So, uh, I'm going to get rid of an Assault Vest, actually, which is actually really good information, because this tells me that he probably doesn't have Roost on his ho -Oh, so it's a lot more pressured uh, by things like my Mawile behind a sub, by my T-Tar, and whatnot, so he can't play around Stone Edge misses, for example. So I'm going to U-turn out of there after he gets off his of Sacred Fire, it doesn't burn me, and I'm going to go into my Rotom, my dedicated check to his ho -Oh. Uh, now, I do, uh, I did have uh, an experience in a mock with Power Herb Solar Beam, so that I know that he probably can't knock me out with that or even a Giga Drain from where I'm at. Uh, I've calped uh, pretty much to be able to take uh, one after the other. He's going to go for Giga Drain. It's going to knock me into Mago Berry range, which is very nice. And uh, he's going to get back a lot of his health, but I'm going to be able to restore a lot of mine as well, thanks to my Berry. And I'm going to be able to Volt Switch right out of there and get in... A uh, very big threat to his ho -Oh, which is, of course, Kronovi, the Tyranitar, right here. And uh, pretty much scare out his ho -Oh, and his ho -Oh is sitting at uh, about 50%, so when it comes back in after its regenerator, it comes in at about 82-ish. 
um, and then takes rocks, so it'll it'll be at 32. So uh, I'm just gonna go straight for the uh, the stealth rocks here. Uh, he's actually at fi he's actually under 50 at this point, so he'll come in at exactly 30 or just under it. So I'm gonna get up my rocks. He goes into Keldeo, very good play, offensive switch. Uh, as I'm not able to deal with Keldeo too well, obviously I'm gonna have to get out here. And uh, MV actually pulls a very nice double here, knowing that I'm definitely not gonna stay in on his Keldeo. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Giratina to try to get off a of Defog. Uh, very smart play on his part. And uh, he's gonna take 12 from the rocks. He's gonna take six from sand. Uh, as I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to go into Greg, the Rotom. I felt like Rotom was expendable at this point, and I could bring it in on a Secret Sword. And then just get in Torn after and start messing around with, like, Hurricanes and, and U-Turns and whatnot. So, uh, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here, because if he knocks me out, that's fine. I was essentially sacking this thing off to Keldeo anyway. And, um... So he's going to go for the Defog, actually, and get rid of my Rocks as I get off a of Volt Switch. And now I'm going to bring back in my T-Tar, as uh, Sand is still up, so we're looking okay. And uh, I think it's up for another two turns or one one more turn after this. And uh, we're going to get back in Titar. He's going to take sand damage, and he's getting pretty low. Uh, and I'm going to go for rocks again. He goes for a Will-O-Wisp, and he misses. Now, we were Lumberry to be able to deal with that, but that miss is huge because that means that even if he hits the next one, I'm going to knock him out with Crunch. And this is, uh, this is a very, very big turn. So uh, that Wisp miss definitely really sucked for Envy. Um plays a pretty big part in this game because now his Giratina is gone, he didn't get off the defog, and his ho is sitting at 30 when it switches in on rocks. So he's going to get in his Keldeo now, and uh, I'm going to pull out a switch into my Tornadus at this point, as uh, I'll be able to take any, any hit relatively well. Uh, as he decides to fire off a Scald here at this point, I believe. He does not get the burn on the first shot, so uh, I'm going to uh, be able to take another Scald. And I'm going to be able to go for a Hurricane. He actually turns out to be Scarfed, which is very good information because uh, I'll, I'll need to know that for later in the game. Uh, as I actually miss a Hurricane, not a huge deal as I'm able to just switch out here uh, and just bring in Greg. And what's nice is that um, Envy doesn't have uh, really a Volt Switch switch in. The only one is Doug Trio, and uh, I don't really care too much about Doug Trio, so I'm going to take uh, Scald plus Burn, and we're just going to go for a Volt Switch here as he's actually going to withdraw and go into his Doug Trio, so he actually makes the correct play. However, I decided to go for a Pain Split here on this turn uh, because I figured if he wanted to stay in and try to scald me and just, uh, like, wear me down to the point of, of uh, his eventual rocks or uh, of another scald later in the game, I'd be able to get up back health on his Keldeo, and everything else was at a good amount of health, and I knew he wasn't going to go into ho -Oh because there was still potential for ho -Oh to put in a little bit of work, so that's why I went for Pain Split there. Unfortunately, I didn't get back too much health, and his Doug Trio is going to come in here, get up rocks, but it is going to get burned from Will-O-Wisp. Uh, we're going to be able to cripple uh, Dugtrio, which is going to be huge for Mawile and Titar, obviously. Uh, they're going to be taking a lot less damage now. And uh, so I'm going to switch out at this point, and I'm going to go into Reuniclus because uh, I'm going to try to basically play a little bit of a mind game with Envy at this point. Uh, his Giratina being gone is obviously a very, very big deal, and it's going to make it harder for him this game, but I'm also going to make it a little bit tougher uh, for him to play around this Reuniclus because I'm going to go for Acid Armor pretty much every time I come in directly with Reuniclus. I want to make it so that Muck can't Pursuit Trap me and do a ton of damage to me. So I'm going to go for Acid Armor, and I'm going to force the Muck to pretty much go for a Dark Move or something to deal with this Reuniclus, and I'm going to find out what it is here by when I switch into my uh, Mawile. And that is going to be, uh, he has Power Up Punch. So I'm going to get off an Intimidate. He's going to go for his Power Up Punch. And I'm finally going to get off my Mega. Now what's good is that I don't even need to sub here. Uh, because his Ho-Oh dies to Play Rough. Uh, based on the damage that I saw from Giga Drain and Sacred Fire. His Ho-Oh is not very defensive. So my, my Play Rough is likely to kill. Uh, after rocks damage, so I don't need to get up a sub. I don't need to predict that thing coming in I can just fire off a play rough here and not worry too much about it He's gonna bring in his bronze long very good play. It's not gonna take too much damage from play rough obviously uh, a little over 30% It's gonna heal with leftovers and uh, pretty much at this point I'm just gonna keep going for the play rough uh, as I'll be able to uh, to deal with the the bronze long uh, a little bit over time He's gonna go for an earthquake here. He's obviously going to weaken me uh, this might have been a little bit of a misplay letting my Mawile take this much damage because it's going to make it very uh, very annoying to have to deal with the muck after. 
uh, because of course it is power-up punch. I can't really switch in my T-Tar directly, so a few things there. Uh, now I'm going to go for another play rough. Uh, it should kill from here, but Envy actually shows the protect. Uh, now I know he's not going to go for any non-attacking move on the, on the falling turn. I'm pretty sure he's just going to go for Earthquake, so I'm actually going to Sucker Punch this turn. Uh, and I'm going to get that correct on the Bronzong, and I'm going to knock it out. Uh, so we do end up knocking out the Bronzong, which is very nice. As, uh, so, Bronzong and Giratina are both down. Ho is at 30. Uh, the Dugtrio is burned, and the Keldeo is scarfed. So, we have a lot of information on his team. A lot of things are crippled and damaged. Uh, so, ooh, things are looking pretty good for us. So, we're going to switch out. We're going to go into Reuniclus here on his Keldeo. If he decides to Scald, we're good. We'll be able to take that and be able to just recover off the damage. Uh, as his Scald does do a little, uh, a little bit of damage there. And uh, we're going to get back some health. I'm just going to recover. Uh, because at this point, I don't believe his Muck has Pursuit. Uh, and if it does, then well played. But he's going to switch out into his Doug Trio anyway, trying to sack it off to a Psychic move, I assume. Uh, as this thing doesn't really do anything else this game. Uh, but I'm going to go for the recover. And once again, I'm going to play the same mind game. I'm going to go for an Acid Armor. Uh, and I'm going to force his Muck to try to deal with me uh, and stay in. So... That's, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to Acid Armor up. He does, in fact, go into Muck uh, to try to stop me. He's going to take Rocks damage. All this uh, all this Rocks damage is extremely important, and this is why him missing those Will-O-Wisps earlier uh, did really suck for MV. So, uh, going to get that Defense raise and going to switch out right back into my uh, Rotom, I believe, uh, to sack it off because I don't want Mawile taking any more damage uh, as it comes in. He's going to go for a Power-Up Punch. And uh, I'm gonna live, and I'm gonna live burn as well. And what's nice here is that uh, if he has Shadow Sneak, he has to reveal it. So uh, he goes for the Shadow Sneak. He does have it, because otherwise he'd get burned. Uh, either that, or I'd get off a Will O Wisp on his Muck, or I could potentially Volt Switch, which would catch his Ho O. -Oh, so there were, there were a few plays I could make there. Uh, so he didn't want to risk that. He just went for Shadow Sneak. Now I can easily take Shadow Sneak with Mawile. Just go into it, and I'm going to go for another play rough. He, at this point, is going to sack off his Dugtrio. He's down to three Mons at this point after this play rough connects. Keldeo, Muck, and the 30% ho -Oh. So uh, things are looking nice, uh, And but anything can happen at this point. Uh, Keldeo could still bring him back. It's a Scarf Keldeath, after all. Uh, he is going to bring it in here. And... Uh, once again, I'm going to switch out my Mawile. I'm still out of range after rocks of, of plus one uh, Shadow Sneak, so we're still looking okay. I don't mind taking one power-up punch with something. Uh, we are going to get in Reuniclus again. He is going to go for another Scald, and uh, once again, uh, this turn I actually considered clicking Acid Armor directly, uh, thinking that he might go straight into Muck, but um, I ultimately decided to recover because I didn't want to risk anything with the Scald. Uh, he does end up going for another Scald right here. And we're going to recover off the damage. And now we can go for an Acid Armor once again. Uh, and just be able to, to play around the muck that way. So that's what's going to happen. We are going to uh, get back some health. We're going to go for the Acid Armor as he switches out into his muck uh, once again. And uh, that's going to be a good time for us. Uh, as I believe this time around, I'm going to sack off my Torn to the muck. As opposed to, uh, to staying in. Uh, my Rotom is dead, so I, I'm running out of sacks slowly, but uh, what's good is that Necrozma can come in after an Earthquake this thing, and Earthquake is very nice to deal with Muck. Um, it's looking like it's probably going to KO at this point. Um, I calc it up, it does a min of uh, 60, I want to say 61, and I believe he's at 63, uh, so that it's very unlikely that I won't kill. It's, it's somewhere around there. Uh, but uh, he gets the Poison Touch on his power-up punch, actually. Shadow Sneak would have knocked me out anyway, uh, but Poison ends up doing it, so that's quite nice. And uh, now we're going to go into uh, Necrozma, uh, Bat Signal, and we're going to just fire off an Earthquake. Uh, however, I haven't seen an item this whole game, and it actually turns out that uh, Envy ends up being Shookaberry, which is pretty big because uh, I'm going to not knock out the Muck here. Um... And uh, he's going, and that does pitiful damage, by the way. And he's just going to go for a knockoff and completely destroy me. So uh, down goes Bat Signal. Uh, but what this does give me as information is that he's not Barry, and he's not uh, Salt Vest. So this is great. Uh, that means that Reuniclus can actually deal with this thing once I get up an Acid Armor. So I'm going to go into Mawile, and I'm going to go for Play Rough. And as I mentioned earlier, because these rocks are still up, this ho -Oh is not taking... A play rough from 30%, uh, and we're going to be able to knock out Ho-Oh 
from where it's at. So uh, quite a few kills from a while here. Uh, I believe this is the third. And uh, down goes Tin Tower. Now he's going to go into Keldeo. Uh, and I want to explain my, my play here a little bit. So basically, if my Reuniclus gets in for free and I can get up an Acid Armor, I can beat his muck so long as no crits. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to try to sack off my Mawile, but I go for Sucker Punch as opposed to Play Rough because this isn't a prediction uh, of him like double switching into Muck. Uh, it was really just, I knew that was a possibility, but it was just me trying to uh, to catch uh, basically his Keldeo in uh, as my Reuniclus came in for free. Uh, so now he's going to go into his Keldeo. and he's going to lock into Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump, of course, being a stronger move than Scald, um, I get off some Sucker Punch damage, it's not going to matter too much, but um, but he's going to go for a Hydro Pump, and because it's a stronger move than Scald, and because I don't have Psychic Stab on my Reuniclus, uh, I'm going to have to spam Recover with Reuniclus, which is kind of uh, annoying, obviously, for Envy, and it's, 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 it, it's really shitty uh, that I had to do this, but I wasn't going to risk crit into crit into crit. I still have my TTR in the back, but if I'm going to preserve Differential, this is probably the best way. Uh, he goes for the Hydro Pump, as you can see, that does a lot of damage, but if he were to crit me a couple of times, uh, I would be dead, so I'm not gonna go for Calm Mind, I'm not gonna go for Hidden Power Flying and have it not knock out the Keldeo, uh, from, like, 40%, uh, for whatever reason, even though it probably should. Um, I'm better off just spamming Recover here, and, uh, as you guys will see, MV actually ends up eventually forfeiting, uh, he asked me why I was spamming Recover, I told him I don't have Psychic Stab, so I'm not gonna take a risk here. Um, but yeah, so big, probably the most pivotal moment of the game was definitely uh, the the Tar uh, dodging Kronovi dodging the 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 first Will O Wisp, the initial Will O Wisp as it came in, or as it got up rocks on the Giratina. That was that was huge. I could have just crunched and knocked out the Giratina and uh, not had rocks up, um, and then just gotten them up later on something like uh, his. Uh, Keldia locked into Scald if I wanted to, or his Bronzong, it didn't really matter. I uh, could have definitely just gotten back up rocks at that point, but uh, definitely the way that he had to play for the rest of the game because of that first will o -Wisp miss was, was huge. Uh, I won't take away from that. I definitely, um, I definitely admit to getting a little bit lucky this game, but I think I still played it well from there on out. Um, and I was able to identify his sets and really and really deal with his team well. So uh, proud of this win, uh, big win over Envy, and uh, definitely it's uh, it's a brand new format for everybody. And I, I don't want to take too much credit for uh, <laughs> for this win, but I mean I did put in a lot of work into it, obviously. But um, but I think that things are going to change a lot, and that Envy uh, d don't don't count him out because of this one loss. Because the thing, as soon as he gets used to the the, the whole Ubers format. Uh, it's going to be very different. We're, we're not, we're not going to have the same MV as, as this week one on our hands. Uh, he's going to be tearing up the league again. So you guys should definitely go and check him out in the description down below. Uh, and as well as all the other coaches in the GBA, definitely go and do that. Subscribe to them so you don't miss a single second of a season nine action. This is a really fun format and I'm looking forward uh, to the rest of the season. Next week we take on Cybertron or Aaron Zhang. Uh, good old VGC players, uh, we lost to a Wolfie once last season and beat him the other week, so we'll see what happens with Aaron, but, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to that game. The, the man has a scary team and we'll go over it when we, uh, when we go to, into the team builder next week. I'll be making a separate vi video for the team builder, uh, next week, cause I'll probably be doing a live comp, um, more than likely. We'll see though, uh, it depends on how much time I have to do graphics and whatnot, so... That's going to be it for this week, guys. If you did enjoy this game, make sure to leave a like for me down below. As I mentioned, make sure to go and check out all the links in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel, if you're coming from Envy's channel. Thank you very much for coming to check my side out. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks again. See ya.